Hey guys, Techman here, also known as Matthew Rivera, and today I am going to be unboxing, setting up, showing you how to do all this. It is the newer NW11, and it is a uh, isolation, sound isolation booth in a way. So let's get started. <laughs> Hey guys, so today I'm going to be setting up, doing everything. Basically, I'm going to show you how to set this up. This is a sound isolation booth, as you can see by the label here. Newer microphone, isolate. It's supposed to be isolation, but got cut off. Um, basically, the box is just newer, then newer, newer, newer. Nothing on the back or on the bottom, nothing on the front. Um, I'm going to be activating this product, of course, for warranty and all that. So this is a really cool thing. I've been wanting it for a long time because I will be explaining to you why I needed this later on. And um, that's that part is going to be um, me showing you the difference in sound. So this is something that I've been wanting for quite a while. And I actually wanted to get um, sound isolation foam and just like use 3M tape and put it on my walls in the closet behind me. But I thought about it and I'm like, I place stuff in there on the walls. I place um, clothing in there. I place metal things for like the green screen and poles for the green screen. In that closet and I just didn't want the foam to come off rip or anything this one is foldable so basically it folds out and closes together so you can store it in a way it won't take a lot of space this is a larger one of this brand the link will be in the description box below for this model I got this is the large one and I'm so excited to open this and get started using this because I know there's probably going to be a sound difference in my closet when I use this with the microphone that I use. So enough of me talking, let's unbox this. And of course, a life lesson, always cut away from you. Not towards you, away. But this, at this case, let's fix that up, open it up a little, there we go. It is not towards me, it's going down. So. Always go down or not close to you like this. Always do it away from you. It's a life lesson everybody should learn. Alrighty. Hopefully that's the last cutting for this. Oh, ho, 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 ho. I feel the foam already. Oh Lord. Okay, there is stuff in here. Okay, so there is this. There's this. This is a hardware, I can feel it. And I have this. So this is the setup. So nothing else in here. Let's put this to the side. Okay, so basically when you get this um, NW11, this is what comes in the box. You'll get an instruction guide. You'll get a pamphlet. Let's look at what this pamphlet is. So it's, okay, so it's like a thank you recent purchase thing, questions, help out. That's pretty cool, and in different languages. Cool. So this is just a guide for you how to set it up on a mic stand. And as you can tell, this one folds in and out. I'm gonna be using this for like recording vocals, maybe recording some guitars, um, some instruments, and this is definitely, I'm gonna love it, so. That's what this is. It says the features are smaller vocal booth. Yes, it's, it is basically a smaller vocal booth, vocal booth. Foldable design, safe space during transportation. I'm just gonna be saving space, not during transportation. It's lightweight and portable, can be used together with any recording situation or occasion. The dimensions are 410 millimeters by 315 millimeter by 40 millimeters. But that's this paper here. And then I'm guessing this is hardware. Let's open it up. Saving this best for last. 
Okay, yep, it is. So, yeah, it's taped together. A right, little tiny piece of tape. Come on. That's what you get with a dull knife. <laughs> but, um, this is what you get. I can tell this is very, very good. You get a um, adapter here. That's very nice. Um, this turns, unscrews. Uh, so I'm assuming this goes like this. So let's set this off to the side and get this unboxed or unwrapped, unbubble wrapped, unwrapped. One of the two. <laughs> so we have a tape here, probably the tape up top. Dull knife. Alrighty. Bubble wrap heaven right here. Wow, this is very light. Jeez, oh. Good thing I caught that. By the looks of it, these are adjustments. There are tabs here on both top, both top and bottom. There are adjustments, I'm guessing, to either open or fold them or um, to lock them in place. This is the screw end up top to, I guess, place on the microphone. I'll see what with this thing. We have the newer NW11 vocal booth badge here. That's pretty cool. That's not gonna really be seen, but it's a nice detail to have. Very nice. So this is how you open it. So let's open it. I'm trying to be so careful. Okay. Okay. That wasn't as bad. So basically, this is what it looks like. Let's hold it in place. So this is what it looks like. We have small types of um, tip foams here. This is a pretty thick um, foam. You can feel how dense it is, how thick it is going into this panel. So that's what this is. And um, as you can tell, you can shrink it down. You can pull it open. You can even do it like very small. It's just whatever you prefer, but also you can close it up completely for transportation. So basically this is what's in the box. You get the hardware, this instruction guide, this pamphlet, that's it. And for the price, I can tell this is a very good quality. I know it's not gonna break because I'm not gonna be unscrewing it, folding it, putting it in a bag or whatever, moving it to a different thing, undoing it, ever, just repetitively not doing it. It's gonna stay in my closet folded. This thing, my monitor stand, and this is I, what I got. And it's such a good investment because I've been working on something behind the scenes and um, it is actually coming along like for the first time something that I've been wanting to create is coming along very well and I might change a few things in that specific project I'm not going to tell you guys right now but um, it's still in the works um, I'm not saying it to sound professional but basically I'm creating almost every type of aspect in this song it's going to be a song hence this hence the monitor for me to have much more workspace and the piano or MIDI controller. It's just a more of a type of trying to sound, trying to make the sound more nice. And basically I got this because I was using blankets in there and I'll show you why I needed this right now. So let's jump into my closet and I'll show you why I needed this. Alrighty, so basically this is what I've been doing for the last few years. Um, basically, when you come in here, usually this thing is um, up close to the wall that a person can sit here, but I'm not gonna place a seat in here for right now because um, I need space to work in. Um, basically, a tip of the wise is that I've been doing this for a long time and I didn't even realize what I've been doing and it's the correct way. But um, basically, I learned from one of my classes is called recording techniques, is that basically, if you try to place your microphone across a center leg here, or at least try to, because you can tell right here that it's uneven. <laughs> it's uneven, but it's not easily to fall. Like, I have to push to lift this. 
But if it's like this, let's move this over here. If it's like this, it's more easier to topple over. And you don't want to do that with like a condenser microphone, which is $60 or even a new Amon, a thousand plus dollar one because you're screwed. So basically just a caution and word of wise, place it over this. And that's what I've been doing for the past few years is that I've been placing it in a corner here, placing this up a little bit, bring this thing down, placing the microphone a few inches or the pop filter a few inches away and the person sings. And recently it has been my sister. I haven't had um, an opportunity to come into my own booth, booth, <laughs> but um, that's basically how you do that. And basically if I close this door right now, but you can probably hear it, I hope you can, is that this area sounds very, very dry. So if I close this right now, I'm gonna leave it have one open but there is light in here but if i do it like this you can hear the room as i talk i hope you can hear the room let's close this more there is light in here so we're good um, basically this is what it sounds like um let me connect the mxl so you can hear what it sounds like through the mxl so testing testing one two three this is what the microphone, the lavalier, fine, fine, um, lavalier wireless microphone sounds like. And this is what the MXL 990 sounds like. As you can see, I have to be very close, but I can actually walk away. Be over here and you can hear the room or just the sound of this small space. And it sounds very airy. And um, that's why I got this um, isolation booth here. It might eliminate the reflection back here. So basically the reflection of my voice hitting this wall constantly back and forth, it will hit this wall, but that's going to be there, the isolation. So it might not be as prominent. I don't know if it's going to fix this airy type of thing. I might still have to use this blanket down here because of just the space. I have a like two handmade C um, clips here and then I use paper um, clips there. Not paper, but the ones that you can clamp. Let me show you. Grab the C thing, I place it in here like this. I hope you can see and I place it, these paper things right here. And this connects to one of these ends on the blanket here. And this blanket is like a very heavy, heavy blanket even when it's um, unfolded, it's very heavy. So basically, um, I still might have to use that here. Um, it was here and then it draped over. I actually had a shower curtain rod going across here with the same type of blanket here, going across like this and coming down in front of these doors. So um, that's why I got this isolation booth. Um, I'm gonna show you what it sounds like with the wall or it's not a wall, foam, <laughs> you can call it foam, but basically it's just the blanket draped over here. So let me do that. It's going to take a while because this thing is heavy. So when I'm done, I'm going to come back and we're going to still be using the MXL 990. So let me just show you what this sounds like. So this is the MXL 990 condenser microphone with no blanket, I guess. <laughs> okay, so now this blanket is up and you are hearing me through the MXL 990 with this blanket up. Now I still can hear a little bit room noise or room tone in a way, and it's not as bad, but this does definitely help with that type of isolation. Um, with, with headphones on, I don't have any headphones on right now, I should, but um, basically with headphones on, when I'm over there comparing without this, and with this on. One time I was recording my sister without this, and when she was talking, you can hear the room. But when I placed this on, I didn't hear the room at all. Basically, that's what this is. And this is what it sounds like. It sounds nice, I know it will. Let me just get headphones on to make sure it sounds good. So I have my headphones plugged in to this extension cord right here. This extension cord goes down there through 
through this carpet, goes out the other side, goes behind my dresser and into the audio interface that I have and it's controlled via the headphone jack or the headphone knob. And I attenuate that for whoever's in here for their liking. And then I have to suffer through loud music because usually the headphones that I put in here are um, open back. Basically it has like a grill right here and it bleeds out badly. So, and basically it's not suited for recording because sometimes if you mute the instrumental track you can hear it through the microphone so so anyways let me place this on already test test one two three test test wow that actually sounds pretty good there is a latency delay from what i'm hearing to here but that's just regular but you guys will hear the um the final product not latency or anything um, the latency is the samples and I can't really um, adjust that because the specific sample rate I have is default and it works absolutely perfectly. So this is what it sounds like and the problem with this setup with the bat with this is that with this door closed you can f after a while because of your breath and just your natural body heat this room is heating up and it's heating up right now i'm feeling hot not like sweaty hot but i am feeling hot because of this because this basically is a thick material and it traps your heat along with this so and what was really weird is that when i first started i was using a halogen light bulb which conducts so much heat and it was horrible and um I finally found an LED from a flashlight that was not working whatsoever. The batteries were stuck in it. And I used a faulty battery from a phone, which had positive and negative terminals. And the LED that was on it had two terminals. And you can plug it into that battery and it will light up. And it was pretty bright. And I hooked it up right here, specifically right here, actually. And it will light this entire room. But then um, I got this super bright um, LED from a local dollar store and there's two different settings there's I'm not gonna press it because I'm gonna be in the dark and you won't be able to see anything but there's a um, when you press this it's low and then when you press it again it's off and then when you press it again you turn it on for high so that's what that is and um, now since we're done with this demonstration of what this sounds like what i would like to do is take this out of this room and um, install this sound isolation thing and then what i would like to do is test um, with the isolation booth with this on and then take this off and see what it sounds like if there is a difference and then i can listen back to it see if there's a difference and if it does eliminate this i'm going to be so happy because this thing is very heavy to place three things up above it took me like about five minutes to do it so let me take this out and i'll transfer over to the wireless microphone and we can install this thing which i'm very excited so let's get started okay so let's see if we can set this up so it looks like we have to remove the microphone and we have to place this end or where does that end this end here on this pipe on this piece oh okay so this is where the microphone stands okay that makes sense because of the adapter here this is easy i thought it was pretty hard okay let's figure this out so key thing with this is that of course you might want to remove this because you don't know where this it's going to be so key thing with the mxls or any type of condenser is that you always want to be very careful and this is a metal construction i have replaced the bands um, with the replacement ones that i did a review earlier this year with the new mxl that i got this is the old one like the og one this piece is black because um, the piece that was um, champagne color broke and this is from the um, thing down here, there's usually a screw here, but when I got this from the thrift shop, it didn't have the screw thing, so it was pretty useless, so I've been using that. So with condensers, usually condensers are very, very prone to break, um, including shock mounts, but this is a full metal construction, so I'm not worried it's gonna break, but still, always be cautious, and don't ever 
and don't you ever screw with the MXL on it because you can screw up like these, you can screw up these. It's just, it's metal, but you can easily bend them or you can literally damage the microphone itself if you drop it, if it slides out from this because this thing is movable and you don't know the grip of these clips here that hold it in. So I have my OG box here for the MXL. There's stuff in it. Okay, so this is what broke here. So as you can see, this broke right here, so it's, you can't use it. So that's what broke on this, sadly. Here's the other piece. See how it just snapped in half and then it snapped again. And I'm like, oh, that sucks. So this is what I was talking about here. I grabbed this piece from this. This cups on the bottom and then you can screw that. That one over there has it, but I'm not using it. I'm using the shock mount and you can screw it in. So that's why I took that off. But set aside from that, you always want to place this in a safe place. And the best place is the original box right there. And close it up and place it not when it's not going to fall. You do not want that to fall. Um, that's a little too much, but you can place it like on your bed, on something soft, away from a corner or away from when it rolls off. So um, basically, what you could do with these things is that since this was on loose, I didn't really have to do it because I don't really like yank it hard, but basically it's hand tightened so I can do that. But sometimes to make the process easier, you can place this up like this, undo it, and you can turn this thing like so. This thing is still tight and you can turn it like this without doing this and turning it, turning this and turning it. It's basically you're doing all the job with this thing here. So that's that. You can place this right in here. Input or small tab here. So I should have not placed this away. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull this off, place it on here, then put that on here. And I will have to get something like a flathead in here because I can't get that with my nails. So basically I just do this and it pops off like that. And I keep doing that until I get some meat on it so I can turn it by hand. I can turn it by hand now, there you go. Then this will go onto that, so that's good. So place this in here. There we go. See what I did is that sometimes you think it's on, but then you try screwing in and it's stuck when it's stuck and then you try to turn it you will strip the insides here and you'll strip the screw so always work around it wiggle it back and forth trying to bring it all together so let's bring this around like this keep turning okay we hit rock bottom now grab this i'm just going to leave it folded because it'll be easier but um grab okay. this end and do exactly as I did before, line it up, and you can start turning with this thing on it. All right, making some progress here. All right, so it goes like that. And I was an idiot <laughs> and I didn't add this bar here. So with the power of editing, let me uh, put this on it and we'll be good. Hold on. Okay, after an hour of waiting, uh, my GoPro do battery does not last long, so I had to wait for it to charge. So I got this installed. It's wobbly because this thing is not tightened. Blah. So this is what it looks like. I raised it up for me to put that on. The microphone goes here and it's out of balance because, of course, I'm going over that thing I'm talking about. Remember, you're supposed to put it on a thing here. So let's turn this. Like so. And honestly, my microphone stands aren't new, new. So now we install this thing. Now, as I was analyzing this, because as in the instructions say, it basically doesn't even tell you how to install it specifically, because just from there, that's this. And then it's like, okay, this is supposed to go right here. How? And this one unplugs or gets unscrewed. These washers come out. 
they can't go up but um, basically it, this is a sliding back and forth that's why there's this long bar one washer goes on top one washer goes on bottom with the screw so then this is tight and then you can just unscrew it just a tiny bit and it can slide against this thing let me unscrew this and we can place it on that microphone shock mount with the flathead screwdriver. So it doesn't, it looks like it doesn't really matter how you place it, they all look the same. So let's place this on here. All right, it's hand tightened. Grab this, Alrighty, that's secure. Then let's loosen this. We're gonna do that exact same thing as we did with this thing. Loosen this just a tiny bit. Now this can turn. Hopefully this won't unscrew and drop the washers. But um, get a head start on it. Don't want to strip anything. Try to find the screws. And there we go. Screws in. Now for the microphone. I recommend this microphone so much to beginners because it's not it's not like a Neumann or Behringer. This one is like a perfect beginner one. It's the MX0990. I love this microphone. I recommend it highly for a beginner, even for regular use for like podcast or any type of thing. Um, I really, really love this microphone. It has such a great sound to it. And as you heard in my demonstration in there, it just sounds so, so good. So I highly recommend this. It's so good. And as you can see, look, this thing's getting weighed down by the microphone. This mic stand is not the 100% type thing. And I think I had a suspicion it was gonna do that because this thing is super tight down here. Like, I'm forcing it now. And that's gonna do good now, cool. So now we are complete. And I feel like this thing is just really good looking, honestly. You can even close it up like this but I'd much rather have it open. And of course, when I store this, this is gonna be closed completely, not completely, but to the limits <laughs> of it being closed because of the microphone being here. I'm gonna fix some stuff up in this thing, try to make it not move. This is out of balance in a way. And I think it's just this being loose. I haven't tightened this when I got, yeah, it's loose, see? This, if this thing starts screwing, it's, it's loose. So I'm gonna fix that. And after when I fix that, I'm gonna place this in here and we're gonna test it with the blanket. And then when I take that off, I'm gonna to listen to it without the blanket and this and see what it sounds like. And I forgot the pop filter. It's in here. I'm like, oh, I'm missing something. And it was this thing. So um, I might just work without it. I don't wanna screw anything up in this. I just wanna hear what it sounds like. I'm not gonna be really close to it making <laughs> just poppy noise like P's and B's and T's. So I'm not gonna really worry about this. I'm probably gonna be right here and I'm probably gonna go off of an angle every time to see what this sounds like. So um, I have my headphones here. I'm not gonna place this on and I'm gonna switch to the MXL, close these doors and you'll hear what this sounds like. Okay, so now you are hearing me through the MXL 990. You can still hear the snapping because I'm in front of it but you can still hear that and then it comes over it's loud so right now i'm gonna go behind here and see what it does so i hear a difference as i said really the only thing i can hear it through is through the program itself with headphones no latency no nothing and I'm gonna see what that sounds like. And then I'm gonna compare it between um, without the sound isolation with this, and then with the sound, sound isolation with this, and then I'm going to compare it without sound isolation, without the blanket, and with sound isolation without the blanket. I think I said that right. When you talk through the diaphragm, it's gonna hit this thing and it's gonna absorb it, unlike Without it, it hits the diaphragm, but it has nowhere to go. It just goes like this, and it 
dispersed all across the room. Unlike this thing is that it's going into here directly and it's just getting absorbed. So as I was saying, as I step back, you can still hear the room because I am like right in front of it. And my voice is traveling to it, trying to get to it. And it's picking up the ambient room noise in it. So basically that's pretty pointless for me to test that. But um, basically this is what it sounds like with this thing closed. It might not be a difference, but this is with it open. And I'd much rather have it open because this way it's it just looks weird. Why would you do that? <laughs> I mean, if you, I have seen those things with boxes and then the isolation foam and the microphone is in the center. I've seen those, but I don't like that. I like this open. That, that actually really does look better. <laughs> right now, I'm gonna take this blanket out, not drop it to the floor. I'm literally just gonna take it out because it, it has to be folded. So let me do that and I'll come back to you and we're gonna compare it. So this is what it sounds like with the isolation and with the blanket. Okay, so now this blanket is up and you are hearing me through the MXL 990 with this blanket up. Okay, so this is what it sounds like without this thing and i don't know if i hear a difference i will have to tell but um this is what it sounds like and of course once you do that and i step back probably the room noise is a lot worse because basically without this thing it's not bouncing off absorbing it it's hitting a flat surface and it's bouncing all over the place so basically if you ever threw a bounce bouncy ball on a corner it does that's what my voice is doing. Unlike this one, when you try to hit it with a bouncy ball, you bounce it off the floor and it hits this. You can see it like diffuse and the ball drops to the ground because the energy of that bouncy ball got absorbed. So that's what a blanket does. It absorbs the sound or this echo in here. So this is what it sounds like with just the isolation. This is the MXL 990 condenser microphone with no blanket i guess <laughs> and i hope it sounds good i hope i don't hear the room um in it i will only find out when this video is being edited and um of course i'm probably gonna talk right now and have what i think um somewhere on the screen and i'll do my outro have you subscribed yet? If not, what are you doing? You should. When you subscribe, there is something called a notification bell. And when you press that, you will get notified whenever I upload a video like this or any type of video. And I also have a vlogging and gaming channel. The links will be in the description box below. And you can check it out at the last 20 seconds of this video. So head to those channels. You can see what I do for fun. Vlogging is a very rare thing nowadays because of college. I even tried Friday of this week and I just recorded one thing, actually two things. That's it. I couldn't record anything else because classes are just crazy. I have AP classes on Friday and that's my longest days there. So basically it's just all. So just go ahead and check it out if you want to see me play games or just vlog stuff. I have a few vlog videos up there from last year and a little bit of this year. Very little. Again, guys, again, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, I hope this video is informative of how to set it up. It's pretty basic, pretty easy, and also informative in a way if you wanna spend this type of money or just spend on this thing. I know this thing will help out a lot because um, it will. <laughs> I just pray that it will work out because I won't have to keep placing this blanket in here. So let me open this door to get some light in. I'm probably going to be placing the pop filter probably on here or here. Anywhere that will fit. So once again, guys, finally, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. And this is the Tech Manny sign off. See you.